Hey guys, welcome to my so, channel. Here's the thing with Samantha. I like her. You know why I like her? Because in the beginning, she was out there. She was telling everybody everything that we should know about Megan. She was keeping it real, her and her brother. But people wanted to pawn them off as if they were crazy or the bad side of the family. And had Megan just included her family from the very beginning, this would have never happened with Samantha going to the news talking about the relationship. And it almost makes you wonder, why would Megan do that? Why would Megan be so distant from her family? And we've seen all the pictures. We've seen the pictures with Megan and Samantha growing up. We've seen pictures of Megan with Doria's family. And there's a history there, but Megan did not seem to want to include this history, this side of her family into her new life. So we see a pattern. We see a pattern of a young girl who has constantly thrived in getting better and better and better in terms of her exposure and what she's doing in her jobs, her acting jobs. She's trying to climb this ladder. And then when I, when I think about her climbing this ladder, I think, and I'm sorry to say this, but I'm thinking of someone climbing a ladder, right? She's climbing the ladder and you know, there's someone up at the top of the ladder and they're giving her a hand and they're pulling her up the ladder. And then she, she's like, thank you. And then she passes them on the ladder and then she kicks them down. It's like she kicks them off the ladder. She's like, okay, thank you. <laughs> Got somewhere to go now. Okay, bye. And then she's going up and then the next person is coming. Oh, Hi, hi, and they're going to help her. And then what does she do when she passes them on the ladder? She kicks them down. I mean, that's what it looks like. It's a history, it's a pattern, yeah? We've learned patterns. We know what patterns are. Patterns kind of tell you, hmm, what is likely to happen if I continue this pattern? What is more than likely going to be the next pattern? You know what it's going to be. There's a history. Before Megan even got into the royal family, I knew that the family, the royal family was going to be, they were going to be ousted next. Samantha's like, you know, I'm not gonna let that fly because we have the same father and I'm not gonna allow this woman just because of her new profound celebrity. I am not going to let her trash talk our family or ignore our family as if she doesn't even know who we are. I'm not going to allow her to speak badly about our father, knowing full well what, what our father did to help her. Samantha wasn't going to do that. And if I was in Samantha's position, I would do the same thing. I really would. And Samantha knew Meghan Markle when she was nobody. And then you're going to get up and be a celebrity and talk like that to us and not be our friends and act like you don't know us. And Samantha was not having it and she shouldn't have it. She's trying to control the narrative about who she is as a person. And to some extent, you can control the narrative by just being a good person. You're controlling what people say about you by just doing the right thing. She wants to paint the picture of who she wants people to see in her rather than what we can all see because we got eyeballs, because we can see how you're behaving. We see that you no longer speak to your family that knew you went. Samantha's like trying to tell Megan, no, we keeping this real. We are keeping this whole thing real. You're not going to come out and, and live this life of luxury and kick us to the curb like we never existed. And I'm glad Samantha is doing this only because of the picture that Megan is trying to paint of herself. She's trying to paint the picture of someone who is caring about those who are less fortunate by going and serving food to the homeless, by you know, going to these different charities, doing all these things that are reputable things, good things to do to help people. But she is trying to, at the same time, stab her own family in the back. You can't want to do good in the world, but you don't do good at your own home. 
people say, well, just leave her alone. You know, who are you? She's doing good. And you know what I say? I say, no. She's using people who are less fortunate to paint herself in a good light. A new example of Meghan Markle taking advantage of an opportunity to paint a picture of herself in a good light came across my Twitter feed today, just right before I was going to upload this video. So I thought I would share this latest story with you first be because it is so relevant to what I was just talking about in this video. So here we have Meghan Markle dropping a news story about an interview that she held with one of the young ladies from the SmartWorks charity. Meghan Markle offers the young interviewee some words of encouragement via a video link from her home in LA. Now, why was this video presented today when this was something that she had done um, over a month ago. Which is so ironic because today, or when this was presented or uploaded, was the anniversary of Prince William and Kate. That was a big news story. And so to overcome the news story of their anniversary, their wedding anniversary, Megan had this video released. So she was holding on to this story that she did out of goodwill. Remember, she did this because she is a good person. But she intentionally held on to this story to release it at a time that was beneficial for her. She took advantage of this goodwill that she did so that she could leverage this goodwill to make her look like a good person at a very calculating time. She cannot give the same common courtesy to her family who have helped her climb the ladder that I talked about earlier. Why should anyone care about what Meghan Markle is saying to anyone about positivity and giving advice of words of encouragement when she can't even do it with her own family? She can't even do it with the, the people who were supposed to be the closest to her, the people who helped her, who helped her climb that ladder. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Got somewhere to go now. Okay, bye. That's it. That's all I have for this video for today. But I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hey, and guess what, you guys? Hit the bell. Yes, hit that bell. So you know what? Every time I post a video, you will get a ding, 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 a ding, 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 ding. Till next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.